Hi, I'm Frank. Me and my partner, Sabrina, we built an automated tabletop pool table. First, we started with a tabletop pool table, and we decided to build a frame out of 80-20 around the entire table so that we would be able to uh, incorporate our X, Y, and Z axis to be able to take a shot at the ball from anywhere on the table. We incorporated an X axis, a Y axis, and a Z axis so that we'd have full range of movement from anywhere to anywhere on the table. Our X axis, we used a ball screw <clears throat> that was uh, we found on a shelf. Our Y axis, we completely fabricated our Y axis from scratch, and our Z axis, we fabricated from scratch. So our X and Y axis will give us full range of movement, left and right, and forward and back around the entire table. Our Z axis gives us 360 degree rotation for our air cylinder, which we're using to as a cue. So first we, you, you'd be able to move around. After you get into position, you press a button, an air cylinder will drop our cue down behind the cue ball and then you touch another button and that will shoot the cylinder, extend the cylinder, shooting the cue ball into the balls and then both cylinders will retract at the same time. <laughs> Give you an example, you come over to the touch screen, you'd be able to move right or left just by touching two buttons or forward and reverse. As you can see, it's going in reverse and forward, and then you can move left at a slow speed, and after, or a fast speed, depending on where you need to go on the table. Then you can, after you get into position, Then you can uh, align your shot. You can move your Z-axis to align your shot where you need it to be. Make your final adjustments. Then lower, lower the cylinder. Make your adjustments to where you need them. And once you're in position, you can, after I take the rack off, you can shoot. And as you can see, I missed. So we'll try that again. Let's drop it down. Get ourselves into position, and then we will, as you can see, once it shoots, everything retracts out of the way so that if the balls were to bounce back, they would not hit the uh, cylinder. We started with our x-axis or y-axis on our z-axis. We use stepper motors like this one to control our movement on our x, our y, and our z. We've used a started with a click PLC using relays, the quick PLC and our program will turn on each relay depending on whether it's the uh, pneumatic solenoid, the X or Y or Z axis for forward and reverse, backwards and forwards, whatever, whatever direction you need to go. On the other side, we have our three stepper motor drives which control uh, all the movement of our three motors as well as two solenoid valves which control our air cylinders. We can adjust our air pressure to what we need so that uh, we don't shoot the balls off the table. 
and that is our project 